Good morning. You're with Plain Crazy Chicks, and this is our buddy Jamie. She's our Nolan 99 sister, and she's just plain crazy, so we thought we could bring her along, too. <laughs> Actually, we are going to bring her to get her plane, um, which is coming out of an annual. We'll be um, traveling to the west side of Austin. So we figured while we were riding up here, we would show you how to set up your GPS to do a VNAV step down to your destination Approach, airport. And we want to be 1,500 feet above the ground, five miles before we get, five miles before we get to our destination airport. So we have our flight plan entered in. We have all of our waypoints yeah, and our destination. So in order to get to 1,500 feet above the ground, five miles prior to our destination, we are going to press the small FMS knob to activate the cursor and then using the large knob scrolling down to our destination. At that point, we can press the active track offset button. What that's going to do is bring up a window that will allow us to say how far we want to be from our destination. So we want to be five miles from the destination. We're going to turn the small FMS knob to the left until we reach five. We'll press enter to accept that value and that's going to bring us to uh, the feet. We want to be 1,500 feet above the ground. The elevation there is 2,100, so we are going to enter in 3,600 so that we are 1,500 feet AGL. So we're going to turn the small FMS knob to bring up our values and then our large one to move the cursor to the correct spot. So here we're going to put three, move our cursor and, to, and turn the small knob to 36. Press enter to accept that value. At that point, it brings up the vertical speed window. This will be, right now the way it is set up, it defaulted to be 583 feet per minute descent. We like a 300 foot descent. So we're gonna turn our large knob until we get to the window that shows the 582. We're going to turn the small knob until we get to 300. At this point, we have everything loaded into the GPS. It will show you the TOD, top of descent, where to start down at 300 feet a minute, as you already programmed into the GPS. You can either fly by hand or you can let the autopilot do it. So let's show you how to arm the autopilot. All right, so we've pressed enter to accept the value. Right, Press the clear right. button to bring us back to our map uh, that will show us what we've adjusted on our GPS. So what we've done, we zoom out, top of the descent is shown with a white circle marked with TOD. Then the bottom of descent where we'll be 1,500 feet above the ground five miles away from our destination is the orange box. So our GPS is set up. So once we reach the top of descent, we could, if we were flying by hand, we could set up a vertical speed of 300 feet per minute, and it will bring us down to the 1,500 feet above the ground at five miles out. So now we have the GPS set up to get us five miles away from our destination and the 1,500 feet above the ground. And now we'd like our, to set up our autopilot so that it will fly that. So what we'll do is press our VNAV button on our autopilot here. When we press that, it will pull up the VPATH in standby mode on our autopilot scoreboard right there. And then we can adjust our altitude to be the 3,600. If you turn the large knob and just continue to turn it to the left, it'll 
uh, bring it automatically to that altitude that we set. Then once we hit the top of descent, the autopilot will automatically begin a 300-foot descent until it reaches 3,600. At that time, we'll be five miles out at 1,500 above the ground. So if you don't want to descend, you want to wait till you have permission, then you couple it to be going to standby mode, right? You press um, VNAV over here on autopilot, right? Yes. And that allows it to go down. You don't see the V path in white up there. It's not on standby, armed for standby, and it will not descend. Correct. We hope it works. <laughs> yeah. See you guys later. Bye. So if you have a number of waypoints in your route, it's best to do it on the MFD because you can scroll through it easily and set up 1,500 feet above the ground or whatever you choose to do easier on that. If you're going direct to your destination, that easiest way to do that is on the PFD um, because you can just go hit a direct to your destination, and then right then and there you can set up the descent Number of, of 1,500 feet um, above ground from the PFD. It's easier. So if you have a lot of waypoints, do it from the MFD. If you just have that direct to your destination, it's easiest to do it from the PFD. All right. So if we are direct to our destination... The easiest way to set up the top of descent to be 1,500 feet or whatever your number is that you like uh, before the airport, the easiest way is to do it straight from the PFD. So you'll press flight plan on the PFD, scroll down to your destination. We do, with what we're flying right now, we do have some waypoints. Um, but this would be if we were going straight to our destination. Then we press direct to. Pulls up our destination. November one, six, nine, or we're going to be turning the large knob one, two, three, until we get to altitude. One, two, three, and here, eight, this is where go, it gets a little easier. You really don't have to know your elevation. You can just say, I've just turned the small knob to activate the values. Turning the large knob to move the cursor. I want to be 1,500 feet above the ground. I'm going to press enter. This gives me the option of to be at mean sea level or above the ground. We want to be above the ground. So I turn the small knob to adjust that window. Press enter. And it's going to tell us what it needs to be. So as you can see, it brought it to 3,610 uh, to be 1,500 feet AGL. We're going to press enter to accept. Then here's our offset that we're going to go five miles out. So we've turned the small knob to the left to be five miles out. Press enter, and then we're going to activate that. So after you have it set up uh, with the PFD, you would still press the autopilot VNAV buttons like you did the first time and um, activate that to be able to um, descend down to your 1,500 feet above ground. The V-path should be lit up in white. So that's loaded up on standby mode, waiting for that to happen. And then you'd adjust your altitude to uh, the elevation that you had set, so that it'll get, the autopilot will follow down to that altitude. Yep.
So we struggled with this. I know I did. I um, did. So we're hoping that this will help you out in um, setting up a, a VNAV step down to your destination, whether you have waypoints before that or whether you're just going direct to. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.